everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome hope that you are all doing well this video today is a video that have been requested which is an updated version of my coat collection so I'm gonna keep on the same outfit that I'm wearing now which is basically seeing just my two top here with a little bit of gold detail and then my black leather pants because let's face it we are going into winter time now so it is time now for the winter outfit the full winter gear on my feet i am wearing my uh, loafers first time for this winter season that i'm wearing my black loafers so yeah that is the standard outfit jewelry wise I'm just wearing a little bit of a necklace, my two Pandora bracelets here, and my normal rings, and then a pair of earrings with a pearl in it. So, very basic everything, despite of course the coats that are the main character of uh, this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. We are starting off strong with uh, the, my many, one of my many leather coats. This is a brown leather coat with uh, some details. Well, it is a flux, le flux leather, of course, not real leather. None of them are. But uh, this is um, it's having a little bit of like detail to it. So you can see the. it's not like a plain brown. It's a little more like... I don't know what you would call this. Let me know in the comments down below if you could know what you would call this detailing in the coat. So it does not have any lining in it uh, at all, which is both a good and a bad thing. The good thing is that it's not too warm even here when it's not yet like minus degrees and way too cold. But uh, when it comes real winter with minus degrees, snow and frost and whatever, it will be a lot um, colder to wear unless of course you're putting a sweater jumper or something like that underneath um, so yeah I will have to say that I'm wearing thick jumpers in the winter obviously I will say that of course in winter time I'm wearing thick jumpers but I'm actually also using quite a lot of thermals so it does have a belt on the back here but it's not really that much that I'm using the belt, I have to say. So, open. It is trench coat-ish. With a little bit of detail to the color up here. Closed up. We have a button down here. And then we just tie, I just tie, normally just tie the belt. Because, yeah, that's just me. So that is how I usually wear my uh, my coat. It's just with a little bit of a bow to the belt and then that's it. So this is coat number one. Coat number two is this very sharp blue leather trench coat. Trench coat, again, flux leather. And I am nuts about the color i love this color so much i literally i saw it online and last year and i just had to have this coat i simply just had to have it just because of the color and i was like my usually self going off the page just putting it in my like basket and then returning to it for three or four months i think before i finally just gave up and knew i had to have it so it is very long i hope that you can see on the video it's going down to under my calves but it does have this stunning color let me know in the comments down below if you would wear a coat in this color and what do you think about the color of it and particularly with all the black thing i just think it's a yeah uh, that's my vibe it does not have any buttons at all, actually, but it does have a belt to it. So, belt is the only way to close it up. And as always, I will just be making my half bow here. So, as you can see, it's pretty open in, uh, in the color. 
most of the coats are. You can of course cross over like this and that will give you a bit more protection. But normally I just put a scarf under and use a colour scarf under to keep my neck and then this triangle here uh, warm. But yeah, that is coat number two. Coat number three, another flux uh, leather coat, this time in Bordeaux. And I love this color so much. And I'm quite sure that you have noticed on your feet at this point in time how much this color is the color of the winter season 2024-25. I mean, it is everywhere. Um, coats, jackets, blazers, pants, bags, shoes, you name it. Uh, this color is everywhere. But it is also a very beautiful color, I think. And again, with all the black, just throwing in that little bit of extra color is kind of making the whole outfit look a little bit more chic. Yeah. So this one does not have a belt at all. And when you close it up, it's like, uh, what do you call it, push buttons. And as you can see, there are a very big opening here in the front. So again, close it up like this, just to make it a little bit less open or put on a big scarf, which is what I normally would do. So yeah, coat number three. Again, very comfortably long, but not too long. Coat number three, four. Next coat, <laughs> a black flux leather coat. And I will say none of these leather coat uh, does have a lining in them so you will have to wear like a jumper or something under it when it's getting really cold in winter time this one however again very long does have buttons all the way up so this time you won't have like this big uh, V in the neck however I feel it's much too tight in the neck if that one's closed, so I'm just going to open it up again. And it is very boxy because it doesn't have a belt like the red one was. So sometimes I just find another belt that I have in my belt collection and then uh, tie it around just to make it less, less boxy because it can very easily become too boxy. And like I think I said a lot of time in uh, my videos is if you become too boxy, you actually look bigger than you are. Let me know in the comments down below if you want a video on how to hide your tummy, not look too boxy, cheat the eyes so you look taller, smaller, all those kind of things, not fluffy uh, and old. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you want a video about. So anyway, closing it up. You can see it is very boxy, so I usually open up the top button here and then put a contrast color in a scarf or something like that. And I also keep the button in the button button <laughs> open as well. And then very often I put on another belt, like a black belt, just to keep it in. We are now done with the leather coats, so moving into fluffy coat territory I'll say this one is very soft but also extremely thin like very very thin it has a belt to it but it has no buttons to it however again a thermal underneath or something like that will make it a lot warmer obviously and that is how I wear it in the winter time because it is this one is like really really thin so I will almost say it is, if it's a very cold place you live, if it's a very cold winter, I would not be wearing it, that's for sure. Not that long, only to like half length. Uh, and like I said, well, it actually do, surprise, have one button to, to close up. But again, this uh, very big V here in the middle. And then a belt. And because the belt have this big buckle on it, I am actually not just tying it up. I am closing it the way that it's supposed to be, be closed, simply because of the buckle. 
on the coat. And then to avoid this long dingling here, I am putting that one under, first under the actually belt and then down in this hole that come here, just to tie it in to make it more uh, elegant you can say. I think it looks better when the belt is not fluffing around. So like that you can of course tie it a lot more if that's what you want like that and then hold on over there so this is coat number i don't even remember anymore six i think <laughs> next up is my white trench coat and i think i showed you this one in a video just a while back it have red threading in it that just love the lining of, uh, of this coat just can we just appreciate that for a moment I really think it's stunning and particularly when you wear it you can like really see the the lining in it so there you go and then when you walk you can see the lining in the coat I just love that look really seriously it is not that long only to the calves and even though it does have lining, it's not like particularly warm lining. But it's also a coat that I would say I won't really, it doesn't really have room for um, a big sweater underneath. Something is possible, but not like a major sweater. It's not possible. For some reason, we have click buttons here. I don't really know why that is. And then, of course, the belt which I will just tie in my normal way just like that and then as you can see it's just a good length for driving car as well because I find at least when I'm driving car if my coat is too long it could be a little bit in the way it's like there's too much pattern around me but uh, this one have a great length and uh, not too thick i do have another trench coat but that's one as with the cleaners at the moment so i can't show you but that's a very traditional general trench coat i well i think i showed it in another video i'm actually not sure i didn't make a video already about my coat collection so i will link that somewhere in uh, in the corner as well as down and in the description box if you like the video so far please also give me a like and a share and a save and uh, if you have not done so already please also subscribe to the channel thank you very much next coat is from last year it's a little bit of a rain coat actually you can't see that when i'm putting it on it looks like a short trench coat which was why i wish this one for christmas last year or was it the year before that maybe two years ago but it has a perfect length like i say for driving car and all those stuff and it is also rain and wind tight which is quite important here in ireland where it rains basically seen all winter <laughs> so it's both quite warm and very light uh, making it extremely suitable and comfortable as an everyday uh, coat and I am using it a lot. So closing it up, there's just a couple of buttons in it but it does keep it very nice and tight up here in the neck area so you don't need to wear like a major scarf and neither it go up so high so you feel like it's too much up here. And because it also have a little bit of cinch in, you don't feel so boxy in it. It does have a belt. And even though there's a buckle on this belt, I am literally just doing my normal stuff of just making it up like that. So, this is the next coat. Next coat is a general trench coat, except it's not particularly long. So, again, my one of my everyday coats and this is really a coat that i'm using almost every day all winter well since autumn actually autumn begun was in start of autumn really and then it will just carry me on all the way up to 
spring and even on a colder summer day. It does not have a lot of lining, so therefore it's suitable both for summer and winter, as sweat as under, and then you will really just stay warm enough. There is three buttons and then a belt, but I'm not using the belt as you can see. It is literally always tight in the back of the coat, which also helped to give it a little bit of cinch in here in the waist. Again, we have a big opening spot where you can just either fold it over and then close it up like that or bring a scarf with you. Last coat is my camel coat. A classic camel coat. And this is also what I usually refer to as my work coat. As you know if you've been following the channel for a while, my employer is pretty strict with the dress coat. So neutral colors. And this is definitely one of my most worn coat in every work relation as well as the white trench coat and the trench coat, this, the ordinary trench coat who's now at the, the cleaners and then the black leather coat. That's about as much as my employer will give me of rigor room. This have a good amount of buttons and I could close it all the way up here but I have to say this is a very very warm coat <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that one out as the buttons are all the way down here it can be closed up a lot uh, for sheltering uh, through the coat and it does also have a belt that I normally tie up because I think if not you get I get way too boxy wearing this one so yeah pockets is okay not particularly deep only to like here so not particularly Deep is not something you want to put your wallet or your keys or something down in because it's going to be falling out. But a very slim and classical coat indeed. Let me know if you want a video on the jacket collection at a later point in time. And then I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, have a great week and take care. Bye bye. bye, bye, bye.